on a pretty cool mill surplus gun that I've had for quite a while. And that is, of course, my K98 Mauser. This is a DUV manufacturer code, which is the Berlin Lubecker factory. This was made in 1941, and it is a Russian capture from, you can see the X's on the receiver and on the barrel. This does have all of its Waffen amps intact, and most of the parts are matching, but the magazine floor plate is non-matching, and also the barrel band is not matching. But it's a fun gun. I only paid $400 for it, and it shoots a really hard-hitting 8mm Mauser that, until recently, was extremely easy to find and very cheap to shoot. The Mauser action itself is an extremely strong action. It's been around for well over 100 years now. To load the K98, you take your clip, load with ammunition. This is a clip. It goes into the stripper clip guide. The rounds are pushed down into the magazine, and then the bolt is closed. At this point, the gun is ready to fire. To engage the safety on the K98 Mauser, we take our safety lever and turn it over to the right. This deactivates the trigger so the rifle can't be fired. We're going to take it off safe, flipping it to the left. At this point, the gun is ready to fire. There's a pretty good two-stage trigger in the factory K98, and it's capable of about four MOA in just a standard military condition. So let's shoot it. So the action on the K98 is exceptionally smooth. This is a close to 85 year old gun now, and it feels like a brand new gun. The K98, along with any other Mauser action rifle, can be single loaded without the use of the magazine. This is a common misconception, and I'm not sure where it comes from, because there's nothing wrong with loading a rifle singly. Uh, you can insert the round into the magazine where it'll be caught and then it can be loaded singly. But you can also just drop it right on top of the magazine and by depressing the magazine, push it in. You see the rim is not caught by the extractor. So when it goes in, all you have to do is close the bolt. There will be a click and the extractor will be engaged over the rim of the cartridge. There's nothing wrong with this. It's perfectly fine to shoot this way. But, not really convenient. You can also load these without stripper clips by just feeding them in one at a time, one on top of the other. This is also just fine. Hundreds of thousands of K98 Mausers were brought back into the U.S. after World War II. A lot of them were cut down and turned into sporterized hunting rifles. I don't really have a problem with people sporterizing military rifles, but it just makes it much harder to find rifles in original military condition. And by original military condition, I mean with an original bayonet fixed. The K98 can also be a practical rifle. If you want this for more than just a fun mill serp to shoot on the weekends, you can also use this as a hunting rifle with just the iron sights. There's a lot of factory ammunition available with a 323 diameter bullet, and they're in soft point. This is a PPU, 
and this is about 1550 a box of 20 and it's great accurate ammunition shoots about three to four MOA in a standard military K98 the other nice thing about the PPU ammo is that it is brass case boxer primed and that means it's fully reloadable and you can get about eight to ten reloadings out of these even when you're full length resizing uh, the key is to just keep your dies and your cases properly lubricated and don't overload them. There's no point in hot rotting an 8mm Mauser. The action's old, and even though it's old, it's still strong, but you don't want to beat it up. I put about 3,000 rounds through this rifle, which is a lot of 8mm Mauser. And if all of it was hot factory ammo or exceptionally hot reloads, I probably wouldn't be able to shoot this anymore. But as long as I'm shooting regular pressure, military surplus ammunition, or slightly downloaded hand loads, I should be shooting this rifle well into my 80s, hopefully. These Romanian clips are awful. They don't fit in the stripper clip guides. I've moved in a little closer so we can do some prone shooting. After the last round is fired on the K98, the magazine follower will stop the bolt from closing. This is to let you know that your gun is empty, basically. Uh, to get your bolt past that, all you have to do is press down the follower, and you can close the bolt normally.
you can buy a K98 or a Model 98 Mauser for pretty cheap, about $200. But a lot of times the stock is going to be cut off and reshaped. The barrel could be cut off. Uh, the sights might be milled off. It'll be drilled and tapped for a scope mount. And there's really no collector value left. If you just want a gun that shoots 8mm and says Model 98 on it, that might work for you. But if you want a true military collectible, you're going to have to pay a little bit more. Uh, right now, as of 2016, K98s can be had for about four to five hundred dollars, depending on where you look. There's no imports coming in right now, so you're gonna have to find them on Gun Broker or at gun shows. I picked this one up at Big Five in 2009, and it cost me four hundred dollars, and I was happy to have it. It was the last of the K98 imports from PW Arms, and they sold out in about three weeks, and I haven't seen a single one in store since. It's been about seven years. But the ammunition keeps coming in. The latest stuff is this Romanian stuff. It's uh, from 1976. It's around 50 cents a round when you can find it. And the, crip, the, uh, the clips, I should say, are pretty terrible. They're oversized. And they don't fit the guides correctly. So if you can find it, the best stuff is the 1950s Yugoslavian. Uh, I remember buying that for like five cents a round. It was cheaper to shoot than 22. And uh, that's how I put 3,000 rounds for this. But I've got a few rounds left. Let's shoot them up. There's a lot to be said about how quickly this gun can be shot. It's a bolt action, but compared to a lot of people's favorite, the Mosin Nagant, uh, this thing is just so much smoother to shoot. It's so much faster to shoot. Uh, you never have to worry about rim lock uh, or whether your cartridge interrupter is working in a Mosin. Uh, overall, if you can find one of these things, pick it up. Back in the 1990s, there was a huge lot of black tip armor piercing 8mm Mauser that came into the country, and I do have a couple boxes of that, so that will be something for a future video. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching this whole thing. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this, and maybe even learned something new. Uh, the K98 is definitely one of my favorite mill serps, and if you ever get a chance to pick one up at a reasonable price, it's well worth it. If you want to see more cool videos in the future, I have this whole shooting range open to myself. I have a whole gun collection and tons of ammo. If you want to see something, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. All these factors must be considered as we plan for the survival of our homes, our families, and our nation in the nuclear age.